It's suggested at the start of this video that you pause here and read the question in detail before we actually commence drawing the Venn diagram. The reason why we have a Venn diagram for situations like this is because the information is often overlapping. So we have people that in this case own dogs and cats or some people that own just cats and we need to try and put it in a sense that's easy to understand. So a Venn diagram enables us to do that and before we actually start drawing our diagram we need to determine how many groups or sets there are. And in this case we have two distinct groups. We have people that own dogs and we have people that own cats. Now that's not to say that there isn't overlapping and our Venn diagram will take care of that. So here's our Venn diagram to represent the situation in the question. At the moment there's no numbers in there but we have drawn two circles to represent the dog owners and cat owners and the overlap in the middle of the two circles is those people that own cats and dogs. So let's have a look at different parts of the Venn diagram and see what they represent with respect to the question. You can see here that we've ticked two parts of the Venn diagram. Now they're people that own dogs. They're basically everybody inside the dog circle. We don't care about the cats at this point, but the ticks indicate that they're people that own dogs because they're inside the dog circle. If we have a tick just inside one part of the dog circle, that's for people that only own a dog. The tick that's missing, the one in the middle, was previously for people that owned a cat and a dog. So this tick is indicating those people that only own a dog. And if we have a tick outside the circles, that indicates pet owners who do not own a cat or a dog. Let's put the information from the question into the Venn diagram. So the first bit of information we have is that there are 72 pet owners. We're going to put that number in a part circle inside the Venn diagram, in other words the rectangle, but outside the circles. And the reason why we do that is because that 72 represents everybody inside the Venn diagram. There could be people that own a cat or a cat and a dog, or the people that own just dogs, but we have to represent the 72 outside because it's the entire Venn diagram, or what's called the universal set. Now we have 42 people who said that they own dogs. Now we're going to put that 42 in a part circle inside the dog circle. And the reason why we do that is because the green asterisks there represent where those 42 people belong. They could be cat owners as well, or they might be people who just own a dog. The next bit of information says that there are 15 people that own a cat and a dog. Now that's going to go into the middle part where the two circles overlap, because those people in that part of the Venn diagram own a cat and a dog. The next bit of information says that there's 20 people that own a cat only. So that 20 goes inside the cat circle, but away from the middle of the Venn diagram. That's because those 20 people do not own a dog. They only own a cat. Now at this point, we can fill in the remaining parts of the Venn diagram. We know that 42 people own dogs, and there are 15 people that own cats and dogs. So if we subtract that 15 from 42 to get 27, that's the number of people that own dogs only. So now we've completed the numbers inside the circles. Notice that the 42 is just there to help us with the calculations. The 15 and the 27 are significant in terms of answering some questions for us later. We also know that there are 72 pet owners total. And some of those may not own cats or dogs. So what we do to display the number outside the circles but inside the Venn diagram is that we look at the total number, 72, and we subtract the numbers inside the circles. That's the 20, 15, and 27. And when we subtract those numbers away, we get a total of 10. So there are 10 people that are pet owners, but they do not own a cat or a dog. So let's now have a look at some of the questions you might get asked from a completed Venn diagram. The two that we've got here are how many people had a dog and a cat and how many people had a dog or a cat. So the first one, the key word is and. When we see this word in Venn diagram questions, we're looking for the intersection of the two sets or the two groups. So in this case, it's the middle of the two circles and the answer would be 15. So 15 people had a dog and a cat. In the next question, we're asking how many people had a dog or a cat. Now, in these problems, we use inclusive or. And what that means is we're looking for people that had a dog, a cat, or possibly people that owned a dog and a cat. So we're looking at all aspects of the circles for dogs and cats. This is often called the union of the two groups, in this case of cats and dogs, and it's everybody that happens to be in those two circles. 
In this case, you can see the result in pink, and it's 62 people that had a dog or a cat.